Thank you, Nicolas. Hi, everybody. Well, we are uh, at the end of uh, 2019, a very busy year for, uh, for us, but also a tough one, because in January, our friend and colleague, sorry, Our friend and colleague, Peter Billing, passed away. And we would like to remember him with his smiling face. Scandinavia was his homeland. We have received a lot of messages from the Espon family, and uh, we would like to thank you all for this. Thank you. As you all know, uh, Peter's contribution to Espon has been instrumental in developing the ESPON network and contributing to the success that ESPON is today. Uh, I think his, his natural humor and kindness brought people together, no matter what their cultural background was. And we know that knowing how respected and regarded Peter was and the very many messages that we received uh, was, was a great comfort to his wife, Mary, and uh, his daughter, Amelia. But even before uh, joining ESPON, Peter was an accomplished author in his own right, uh, particularly on is issues of social justice, which shone through his kindness and his personality. He wrote books about the growth of the workers' uh, movement and development of the People's Park in Malmo, the impact of uh, dem the demolitions on low-income communities during the 1960s and 1970s, and the social development of Malmo in the 1990s. But he had a wide range of e issues, did our Peter. He was a great lover of sport, and music, particularly heavy metal. ACDC was his favorite t-shirt to wear around the office. And uh, he wrote, even wrote a book about the, uh, in 1996, which is available on the Malmo Sports History site, 100 Years of Community, and it's a, it's a real work of art. People should check it out. And it's a testament to his breadth and interest that he even wrote a book about Swedish football. Peter was a, a football, uh, addict and I will miss uh, his Monday morning chats about the weekend's football results and uh, w uh, the various sports results over the weekend. Um, I, think we w I think I speak for all our colleagues in the ESPON EGCC that we'd be all uh, forever grateful for his friendship, his personal friendship and his professional friendship. Indeed, it was during the 2013 um, Irish Presidency of the European Council that uh, Peter tapped me on the shoulder and said there was a job going in ESPON, <laughs> which is the reason why I'm here today. And I think that epitomizes Peter. He was always looking out for people to give them the next step in their career, and, and he was, had a particular interest in, in, in the ESPON internship program to give young uh, researchers their first step on the uh, career ladder. Um, yesterday, Pierre was in a bookshop, and I think uh, she found an inspiring quote which is on the screen behind it, I think, which sums up and epitomizes Peter's character. And I think it's an important thing for us to reflect on as practitioners in cohesion policy and European solidarity, that uh, the interests which we share as human beings are far more powerful than the force that drives us apart. Thank you. <laughs>